So let's start from the base case assumptions. So we're going to use our original assumption for our base case. So our original assumption was, if we see back in our uh, EVIT tab, what we did for our uh, quantity assumptions, we, let's show you here. We divided the historical compound annual growth rate to two. So we're assuming that it's going to grow at the rate of half of what, what it has you know, been uh, for the past five years. That was our orig original assumptions. Same goes for uh, Botox International as well. We, you know, did half of the historical compound annual growth rate. Let's see for the other ones as well. Uh, here. So half, we can see that it's half, uh, half as well. So. Our base case, we're going to do pretty much the same. So we're going to do, we're going to anchor the columns by pressing F4 three times. We've anchored the columns and we're going to divide it by two. Shift it to the right. We're going to copy and paste. Copy, paste, paste, paste. So let's make sure they're all going the right way. So our base case assumptions are rather simple. So let's, you know, write it. Let's make notes on the far right. We always recommend you that to uh, recommend you to take as much notes as possible. Uh, in actual practice, if you have many projects going on, eventually you're going to forget about the logic behind your assumptions. So, uh, and, and, you know, sometimes eventually, uh, if you have made an investment decision based on this model, you're going to look it up again when you're, you know, exiting from your investment and you're going to want to know why why we made these these types of assumptions and you know some of my former employers they still call me and call me or text me about the assumptions that I've, I've made in our former uh, firms and you know it's not that I don't want to tell them it's um, you just forget it's uh, you make a lot of models in your uh, junior years and it's very difficult to memorize all uh, all of these uh, assumptions so let's make notes let's say this assumption was about half of historical compound annual growth rate And let's copy this across the other assumptions as well. Uh, second, let's move on to our bull case assumptions. And uh, for the for our bull case, let's just use our historical care. So uh, I think it's safe to say that in the best possible outcome, the Growth rate will be, will be the same as it was in the past. So uh, we're going to link to our historical care. Uh, press, you know, anchor the columns once again. So F4 three times. Let's move it to the right. Copy and paste. Uh, so these are going to be quite strong assumptions that's going to affect our DCF results, I, I, I guess, a lot, a lot. And last, before our bear case, uh, you know, for, for all, most of the segments, we can see that the growth rates are you know, slowing down. It's, it's declining 
growth rates are declining for the past three or four years. So I think, yeah, for the probably for the worst case. Oh, before doing that, let's let's make our notes over here as well. Historical. Copy paste. Yeah, so back to our assumptions, back to our bare case assumptions. I guess we can say that the one of the worst possible outcomes would be uh, the growth rates not recovering to historical uh, growth rates. So if we are assuming that it's not coming back, and we're, if we're assuming that 2023 growth rates are going to maintain in the future, that's going to be quite depressing for the company prospects. So following the latest growth rates, we're also going to copy these across, across, and again. And let's make notes as well. So these are latest growth rates. And now we have three individual cases ready, ready for, uh, ready to go. To be connected to our original model uh, and please note that these assumptions are very you know we, we did a very simple very easy way of making assumptions uh, in actual practice maybe you will be spending days before you know finishing these assumptions You're, you you might be conducting surveys you might be talking to a lot of experts you might be talking to company management uh, attend meetings. Uh, sometimes your seniors or your clients won't agree with you. So uh, before you know, coming out and and setting these assumptions, uh, it's going to be quite painful uh, in, in actual practice. So uh, we're just learning the mechanics of the scenario analysis. So I'm just giving you guys a a, a heads up.